Good morning friends, uh, this is uh, Sushant uh, and welcome to my channel Spiritual Geek and uh, this special video is on request from one of the user who wanted to get this kind of uh, pixel launcher uh, on his phone as well. So actually this video is for all of all the users, Android users who wish to have uh, this uh, pixel launcher and have uh, benefit of its uh, features and uh, stability and uh, many other things so I'll show you everything how to get it uh, the link will be available to download this uh, pixel launcher APK file that is application file which you can uh, download from uh, that link and to download it uh, to install it you just need to make sure that you go to settings in uh, and go to security and make sure that this thing is checked that is un unknown sources so it will be installed without any issue so uh, I've already installed it and uh, now let me do one thing let me first uh, um, go ahead and uh, remove this as a default application for home so let me make it uh, this launcher which is default launcher for my phone so now we are on uh, launcher which comes with the phone which is for, for my case is a smart drone SRT phone so it is Tronix launcher and now let me go ahead and use suppose after installing you can uh, go to or you can just click home and it will give you option of that but uh, in my case it's a different thing so I'll need to go to the application and then search for pixel launcher so where is the pixel launcher just give me one minute okay well actually the benefit of pixel launcher is that it uh, almost uh, works as a kind of um, system application so now I'll go to uh, settings then I'll go to apps and make it uh, default home application if you can see this default uh, home application yeah in settings application and then go to uh, then click on that gear icon and then uh, you can select this one uh, go to home application in launcher you can select pixel launcher and then when you click on this you'll get the pixel launcher so on first page you may have different icons I have set it up as per my preference and um, so to go to the uh, customization of this you can just go to uh, this one home settings but before that I would like to show you that suppose if you want to change the um, this uh, wallpaper suppose I'm holding and then it give you three option wallpaper so if you click on wallpaper it will say that app is inst app isn't installed so don't worry about that you can do that you just need to go to gallery and in gallery uh, let me give the and then go to albums and in albums suppose I have uh, uh, I have uh, just give me one minute yeah I have a wallpapers in one of the folder suppose I'm selecting mm, this one which is a dark then I can set it up as a use as you can just select this option use as once you click on that you can use it as a wallpaper and then set wallpaper it will ask you do you want it for home screen lock screen or both so I'll select both so this is how you change the home screen if you see now the home screen is changed the reason I choose a dark theme because the dark theme is something which uh, saves your battery it, lo it looks nice and uh, you know very impressive okay so now uh, the main important thing is this um, the customization of uh, this and 
you just click on home settings if you click on that you get all these options so uh, what you need to do to get the uh, all benefits of this launcher and make it more convenient for you make sure not notification dot is always on then there is another option which says uh, at a glance okay make sure it is at the top of the home screen and uh, you can make sure that all this uh, these options are selected calendar events uh, fl upcoming flight information traffic information you can choose as per your preference you may also skip the this uh, this step the second is icon app uh, add icon to home screen so this is also something which you can choose if you want uh, whenever you install new application you can just uh, uh, allow the pixel launcher to add an icon on your home screen or not and another one is a display Google app that means uh, this suppose if you scroll if you swipe on on your left sorry right you get this uh, uh, Google app which give you which gives you a list of uh, latest news and everything as per your preference and as per your search and everything so you can also get this three dots the first option which is on you get this three dots which means if you click on that you get an option to you know share this news hide this news if you're not interested you can just get rid of it if you are not interested you can just uh, select that so such kind of news will not come in future and so this is quite handy you can follow that right away you can send feedback you can customize your story so you can customize this uh, so suppose if you want this feature you can always uh, go for it and make sure that this option is checked if you don't check it if you swipe right uh, right you will not get that uh, news option you normally see this feature on uh, Google now launcher so now the next uh, Mm, okay okay so the next thing is the google display app so i show i explained you that suggest display app suggestion at the top so this is something also which is as per your preference and add home screen rotation so whenever you rotate your phone it should also rotate this like this so this should also happen on home screen for example suppose just like that it should uh, rotate but i have not uh, activated it i'll show you how it will look suppose I s check it and I go to home it will rotate like this so everything will be if you uh, yeah, you see this okay so it is useful when you are using you know external um, you know keyboard to work on your uh, phone um, so it turns into a computer like a display on landscape and there is another option which is more important I don't use this so customization in customization there are few things I use dark theme because it saves battery a lot and uh, after that there is another option which is force round icon force round icon makes you know uh, this uh, you can check it keep it checked so if you see this Google uh, this Google bar so it is rounded one and this G Google G is colored so that is something which uh, which means this customization so you can also keep it four so it looks much better uh, more like a original pixel phone and pixel launcher on those phones and disable I normally disable at a glance so you know it doesn't uh, keep me it, it doesn't bother me a lot so these are the notification which comes force colored Google logo app I showed you that uh, Google logo app it is colored one you can make it you know kind of um, uh, blurred one oh, I'm sorry the single color one which which will look like this you see now it's not colored so it's your preference I'll keep it you know color looks better so this one is checked remove while uh, white gradient below dog so if you uncheck it there is a grade uh, there's a gradient line that will be you know it will be shown if you see that if you scroll from one to you see this line moving that will be that can also be removed 
so I keep it on always because I don't want it so this is a basic setting and one more thing about the this phone uh, because my uh, screen looks much you know much uh, better because what I do I'll show you if you go to settings if you're using beta uh, Tronex beta it will be great uh, it will be on display I'm sorry not in display I'm sorry you need to go to developer options and you need to scroll down at the end and just go up 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 and you will see something called smallest width keep it 490 or 500 or 450 whatever um, is you know convenient for you that will make you know um, the screen look better and it will show more content on it for example um, if I show you my emails if I put if, if I keep that at 300 or uh, 400 or less than that it will show less number of emails on my screen so if I keep it 490 or more than 490 or 450 it will show more content and content on you know one screen without any scrolling so I feel uh, this is something which looks better and also saves your time rather you know scrolling up and down you will see everything at your no at one screen and about these icons uh, you can this is a widget which is in uh, calendar so I use it a lot so I keep uh, what I do I just keep uh, hold it go to widgets and select this option I just keep it and put it here so I already have it so I'll just get rid of it and these icons you can uh, whatever your preference you can keep five at the bottom suppose this is a phone I can you know switch it I can keep it here and keep uh, these two here so this will remain same these five dock icons will remain same wherever you go on the screen and as per your preference you can just hold it and keep it wherever you want on the screen the best view uh, if you want to get a best view of your launcher make sure that uh, the home screen is not uh, filled up with many application keep it next to it for example I've kept this uh, calendar and few apps at the bottom so this looks uh, you know very decent and uh, you can just club them all as well suppose uh, if I want to I have two whatsapp account on this without parallel space application or any dual application uh, thing so I keep it here I keep all my YouTube channel and then studio app here and then some uh, Chinese shopping uh, application in one and then uh, these are five camera apps I'm going to make a review on cameras also uh, different type of cameras and like pixel I'm sorry uh, the Google camera then uh, basic camera and uh, Nokia camera and OnePlus camera so these icons you can choose as per your requirement and this is very smooth if you want to see all the apps you just need to swipe up it will show you all the applications very smooth no lag at all if you want to know the notification it will first show you few notification then if you again it will show you all the toggle buttons and you can choose from you can access the settings from there you can change it and this is a scroll everything is here you can also search there's a search option here at the top you can search all the apps and contents in your phone and this is a Google uh, G board the keyboard application which is much better you can also customize that G board also I keep uh, number keys at the top and I uh, choose the option of uh, hold and get the um, icons and symbols so very convenient one so that's it and uh, that's it for this video hope you liked it and you will try this app and make your home screen look better like brick pixel and it also very power efficient I'll show you last thing uh, I just okay. if you see this application doesn't put any pressure on your on your CPU or also on your battery 
so it's very power efficient one let me show you it doesn't ask you for so many permissions which normally all the launcher apps do ask you okay there's a pixel launcher 9.47 MB if you see here the application size is uh, total size is uh, uh, for application size is 4.55 MB and uh, data is 4.9 because I've customized it but uh, under 10 MB it's much better and if you see the permissions okay permission no permission granted so without giving any permission this one is working perfectly and default there is only one default which is uh, home scene and battery it has used only one person battery in 43 minutes and CPU found for okay so you can see the battery usage is also low so it will also save your battery uh, or not use uh, too much of your battery or CPU or ask for unnecessary permission which is uh, most in most of the cases all the launchers ask a lot of uh, you know permissions and it is very um, you know very not good for people like me so that's all um, this is a request video from one of the user so if you also have any request for video which you want to which you wish to see on my channel let me know in the comments and uh, subscribe to my channel hit that uh, like button I'm sorry and like button and the bell icon to get notification whenever I post new videos and uh, thanks for watching uh, have a great day bye bye take care